Number 26, verify that the force in the elbow joint in example 9.4 is 407 newtons as stated in the, in the text. All right, so here we have our little picture. I uh, also copied example 9.4 here. So basically what we wanna do is verify that this value is 407 newtons. Uh, in order to do so, first we must calculate the force uh, that the bicep is exerting. All right, so uh, we have to deal with this system as a, as a uh, problem of torques. Here, right, uh, right at this location is the axis of rotation. Okay, so therefore we're concerned with all forces acting at a distance to this axis of rotation. So right now, this particular force does not exert any torque because it's right at the uh, axis of rotation. It has no lever arm. The distance is zero. And therefore, according to my formula here, if R is zero, then the torque is zero. Okay, so that should take care of that. So basically I have three uh, torques that will be present in the problem. I know that then the sum of the torques, sum of the torques will equal zero because it's stationary. Now, uh, three torques again, I have, oops, will equal zero. So I have, all right, one torque here produced by the force of the bicep, one torque here produced by the weight of the arm, and one torque out here produced uh, by the weight of the book. Okay, and uh, yeah, that's about right for a physics book. They're about 10 pounds or so, nine pounds. Um, all right, so now let's detail all the tensions in the problem, okay? Now we have to consider the directionalities, okay? So let's first talk about the, so, well, let, let's label the uh, tensions. We got the tension of the bicep plus the tension of the arm plus the, I keep saying tension, torque. These T's are so confusing. Okay, torque of the bicep plus the torque of the arm plus the uh, torque due to the weight of the book should all equal zero. Sorry, it's a little early, guys. I'm trying my best to get videos in for you, so I gotta wake up extra early now. Um, and let me write this B-O-O-K for book. So, all right, uh, now let's consider the signs, okay? So the torque that's produced by the bicep would rotate the arm counterclockwise, therefore it's positive, right? The torque that's produced here by the weight of the arm, the force would be moving it downward and therefore would be rotating it clockwise. So this should have, this should be negative. So let's change that sign, negative. And then the torque that's being produced by the book, right? The weight of the book is pointing down and therefore that force would rotate around the axis of rotation clockwise. And therefore this should also be negative. Okay, great. Now remember, we're trying to find the force of the bicep and the force of the bicep is tied up in this torque. For the bicep. So let's solve this for the torque of the bicep. So the torque that's being produced by the bicep should equal the torque of the arm plus the torque of the book. Okay. Um, expanding on these now, uh, they're all acting at, you know, the lever arms are all, you know, perpendicular, so I don't have to deal with any angles in this problem. So now let's just uh, expand on this. So it would then be the force of the bicep times the lever arm of the bicep should equal then the force of the arm. Uh, or the weight of the arm, that is, uh, right, multiplied by the lever arm of the arm, plus then the weight of the force of the book times the lever arm of the book. Okay, solving for F sub B, right, we would just have to divide out R uh, sub B. So let me just do that. I'm not going to rewrite it. R sub B, I'm just going to erase and move it over just to save a little time. Okay, so this is now my formula. Look at that. Voila. Okay. Plug in the numbers. So now, so here's letter A. This is letter A continuous. So the force the bicep is, is exhibiting will be now the weight of the arm. And they told us the mass was uh, 2.5. So it's basically 2.5 times 9.8 multiplied by then by that lever arm. Um, let's can we these all have to be in meters. So convert this value into meters. So it's 0 0.16. 0 0.16. Now then that's plus the books values, right? The mass is going to be four times gravity times then the lever arm of 0.38 all divided by now the lever arm for the for, for the bicep, which was 0.04. Remember it was four centimeters, got to convert that into meters. So now the force that the biceps are exhibiting will be, let's calculate. So 2.5 times 9.8 times 0.16 plus 4 times 9.8 uh, times 
0.38, all divided by 0.04. So this would be 470, okay? Uh, 470 newtons. Okay, so that is the force that the bicep is exhibiting. Now we need to verify that the force in the elbow joint is 407 newtons. So remember now, now we can solve for this vector, okay? Remember that the problem is stationary, okay? And that being the case, we know then that the sum of the forces have to equal zero. So what are the forces? Well, we have, now consider the directionality here of these forces. Why didn't I consider the directions in here? Well, because I considered the directions of the torque, okay? So you get, don't do both because it's gonna probably mess everything up. So just, if you if you now are um, considering directions when you're talking about torque, only consider the directions of the torque, okay, the signs of the torque, and then disregard any signs for the forces when you plug them into your um, equations here, okay? Uh, when now we deal with forces, we're not dealing with torque here anymore, right? It's not a torque problem. Now we got to take the signs into account. So directionality is important again for the force. So we have the force of the bicep, which is pointing upward. That's positive right here. Minus then the force at the elbow, which is pointing down. Minus the weight of the arm, minus the weight of the book, right? They're all pointing down. Minus the weight of the arm, minus the weight of the book should all equal then uh, zero. So the force at the elbow should equal then the weight of the arm, the plus the weight of the book, minus the force on the bicep. Okay, or the force of the bicep. So here, just plugging everything in, the force at the elbow joint should be the weight of the arm, which is 2.5 times 9.8, plus then the weight of the book, which is four times 9.8, come on, minus then the uh, 470 that we just found. That looks like a 420, 470, that still looks like a 420. What are you gonna do? So 2.5 times 9.8, plus four times 9.8, minus 470. And that's going to be negative, and that should be what the answer is, right? It's pointing downward. So it comes out to be the force here of the elbow, or at the elbow, is going to be negative 407. Voila! Guys, ah, let me box that. Thanks for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. This coffee is great this morning. My God, I am so awake. Double shot of espresso. That'll do it. Um, subscribe. Take care.